Have a look at that. Big camber. That is a big camber. Oh, there it is. There's the snake. Oh my gosh. Alright guys, so right now we are heading out to film canebrake rattlesnakes. Now canebrake rattlesnakes are technically a subspecies of rattlesnake. Now they say that they're not, but um, I've been calling them canebrakes my whole life, so I'm going to probably just continue to call them that. They just have a lighter coloration, a little bit of a different color than a timber rattler. And we're going to a place where I've been going literally my entire life. There's a really good chance of us finding a rattlesnake. And uh, it's going to be really interesting. It is a very, very unique snake, but they also are very dangerous. The area that we're going to be in today has a very concentrated colony of canebrake rattlesnakes. This place is one of the only places I know to find these snakes, and most other places, they're very uncommon. Even when I know there's rattlesnakes in the area, they're so difficult to spot. And because they're still warming up for the day, they might not give me a warning rattle. This is like a little cement ledge right here, and we just spooked a bunch of them. When I say a bunch, I mean a bunch. Probably the most we've ever seen in one day. And that right there, this is the only one that hasn't taken off yet, so I wanted to show you this. Look at how perfectly camouflaged that snake is. Perfectly camouflaged. Very, very difficult to see. This was the last one that we spotted out of all of them. And it's just, this is a pretty one. It's got much lighter colors, dark tail, but uh, it's not going anywhere, so I'm inclined to show you guys this. This is what makes this snake dangerous, is because they don't want to get out of your way most of the time. And they're not going to come after you, they're not going to chase you. However, they're so, so camouflaged that that's what makes them dangerous. Now, sometimes they will rattle, but if you have a look, it's not rattling, and I'm very close to it. So, not all of them are going to rattle, and that's what can make them a danger to people. Whatever you do, don't ever go and mess with rattlesnakes on purpose. They're an extremely dangerous snake and should be respected and avoided. The reason we're here is to show people how beautiful these snakes are and how unaggressive they are when they're left alone. One thing's for sure, something has the rattlesnakes especially active today. I figured it would be a good idea to search for a really, really big one to show how truly impressive and potentially dangerous these snakes are. What's good is that the venomous snakes aren't the only snakes that are going to be out today. It's a racer. Hello, sweetie. Cold, right? <laughs> that was the dumbest catch I've ever had. Have a look at this little snake. This is actually a blue racer. It has a very weird coloration. Kind of like a buttermilk. It's like a gray and yellow. His jaw is messed up. And it actually looks like he's blind in one eye. Look at how fat he is. His tail is missing too. Tell you what, this ra racer snake's had a rough life. What's interesting is, over here, all you're gonna get is blue racers. And almost everywhere else I know, you're gonna find black racers. So it's a really interesting little pocket of blue racers that actually live here. And his mouth's messed up to the tongue flick, he actually opens his mouth a little bit. It's all right, little buddy. Really unique color, definitely not a pretty racer snake, but interesting color for sure. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let this little guy go. See you, little fella. Here you go, go that way. That's where you were going. Boop, boop, boop. No. Silly. Silly, go this way. Go there. There you go, freedom. There you go, he's figured it out. Oh my. Have a look at this right here. This is what you call a popcorn tree. And you see how all the roots kind of extend. This is the perfect place to look for the second rattlesnake species that lives here. And that's a pygmy rattlesnake, specifically the eastern pygmy. They can have a gray to even bright orange coloration. And full grown, they'll be about that big coiled up. And that's what I'm looking for around here. I've never actually found one, but uh, it would be really cool if we did see one. Have a look at that. Big camber. That is a big camber. Hello, sweetie. Is there a hole right there? Oh, there it is. There's the snake. Oh my gosh. I want to be a little bit careful. I want to get her out. Have a look at that. That is a monster. There's the tail. That's a monster of a camber right there. Hello. All right, we're going to bring her out into the open real quick to where we can 
better filmer. So this is probably one of the best examples we could get of a big, pretty canebrake rattlesnake right here. Now they're very active today. I don't know what's stirring them up, but we've seen a ton of these snakes today. In fact, this is number seven. We have seen seven cane breaks today, and this is the biggest one yet. Now have a look at that rattle. She's got a good rattle. It's not full, but it's very, very clean, and you can actually hear it fairly well. Now, it's very sunny. The sun just came out, and the humidity is pretty crazy right now, so it's, uh, it's pretty hot. Now, this snake's facing this way and is not very aggressive. It's not coming at me or anything like that. However, this snake, if I were to mess with it, if I were to tease it a bunch, it would start biting a lot. This snake has a very, very strong bite. And the bite from a rattlesnake is different than other venomous snake species. It's like a punch. This snake is so strong, when it hits you, it literally feels like a full-grown person punching you. Very, very strong. Rattlesnakes are a very heavy-bodied species of snake, and they're a pit viper. They've got pits right in the front of their head for heat seeking, and their favorite thing to eat out here is rats and rabbits. They absolutely love to eat rats and rabbits. And uh, one like this would be able to go into a nest of rabbits, chase out the parents, and eat all of the babies by themselves. And then by that time, they'd just be completely full. And that's what they love to eat out here. These rattlesnakes are very distinct, look completely different than any other snake species out here. And they're one of the only big rattlesnakes that are gonna be found in this area. And uh, there's a lot of swamp back here, so there's a lot of space for these snakes to live. And uh, what's interesting is that this little piece of land that these cane brakes are living on could be gone in an instant. This is the only place that I've ever found the snake. And while they are very, very widespread, this is the place that I've always found them the most. And uh, this place could be gone in a day. One bulldozer, one land clearing, and all these snakes would be completely dead. And uh, you'd never see them in this area again. This is a snake that could easily kill. And it's not something to mess with. If you ever see this snake, just leave it alone. Don't try and kill it. Don't try to mess with it whatsoever. Just leave it there and stay at a safe distance. They can move very quickly. I know they look like a very slow snake, but they can move very quickly. And while they don't mean to bite people, they are very scared of people. A lot of people don't understand that this snake fears people. And when people pressure it, that's when this snake bites. If I were to go in, grab it, mess with this snake, then it would get upset. It would try to bite me pretty much instantly. And we don't want that. We want this snake to stay calm. We want it to stay relaxed, and we just want to present this to you for educational purposes. That's the whole point of these videos, is to show people the beauty of these animals from a safe distance. Now, I'd have to guess that this would be an adult female. Normally, the females get much bigger, but it could be a male, potentially. Uh, they've got a really cool diamond pattern, but it looks different than a diamond back. It's more banded than anything, and it's got a little triangle shape on the end of each diamond. Now one snake that actually could be mixed up with this is the diamondback water snake. Of course diamondback water snakes don't have the rattles, but they are a snake with a similar banding pattern that uh, has a pretty big heavy body. It's one of the biggest water snakes out here, and that's one that oftentimes gets confused with rattlesnakes. These snakes are super camouflaged, and we've been trying to spot these snakes all day long, and you know, you'll see some of the shots. They're a very difficult snake to spot. Now, cambric rattlesnakes, like I've said before, are not an official subspecies of the timber rattlesnake, but I've always called them cambric rattlesnakes, and they have such a wide range and so many environments that they can live in that people encounter this snake very, very often. Well, guys, this has been an absolutely incredible experience, amazing day to find rattlesnakes, and I really hope we educated you on this snake species. They're a beautiful animal, but definitely something to be respected and kept a safe distance from. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like, and I will see you guys next time. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put her back. All right, here you go, sweetie. Ooh.